Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Solo Supreme, and welcome back to possibly the last episode of Reichsland Reloaded. Now, where we last left off, Brazil, Chile, and Argentina basically carved up the rest of South America for themselves, with Argentina and Chile kind of divvying up Bolivia. Brazil, I think, uh, did Brazil get a chunk of it? No, it doesn't look like it, but Brazil instead got Colombia. Uh, Chile took up Peru. Oh yeah, and also Brazil got like a good quarter chunk of Peru out of that. And Panama was liberated uh, from uh, Colombia as an independent nation. That's part of Germany. Now, let us begin the final poetic dance of this war. Haiti is trying to justify against Cuba. <laughs> let us go. What shall happen? Nobody knows. But I'm pretty sure that's like if wait, is Haiti yeah Haiti's ally with America. I wonder if if Haiti declares war on Cuba, will that bring about the <laughs> United States declaring war? Or <laughs> oh, you finished nuclear effort, didn't you, Germany? You didn't. You must have just did. Oh yeah, so they're all they're almost done with the nuclear reactor research. Let's see, yeah, nuclear reactor. One times two years ahead of time penalty reduction for nuclear technology. I'm pretty sure you guys already got that nonsense. But anyway, back to the wars. So it seems that this world has finally come to pieces. And let's see. Australia just landed troops? Wait, what's happening? Germany just landed troops at a port. Uh, wait, wait, what is happening? Oh my god. Could this be? Could this be? Oh my god, wait. Greece? Australia just made a beach hit. Wait. What about Germany up here? Germany is. I, I don't know what's happening. People are dying. Planes are crashing. Ports have been retaken. Australia, Netherlands, people are down here. What is going on? Drop men off! Reinforces, please! You have- Oh my god, please! I beg you. I, I don't know what's going on up here. Like, it's like, okay, Greece has dropped off some troops. Australia, wait! They're reinforcing this! You must hold Southwest England! Oh my god. Could this be the miracle? Wait, what's happening up here? Ireland is being- Brazil is liberating Ireland? What the hell? Oh god, Brazil! Hold Belfast! <laughs> Hold Belfast, you bastard. But Australia, oh my god, Australia. Australia may have just committed a miracle for us. They created the beachhead. I mean, it's not much, and it's incredibly small, and god forbid there's a lot of fucking British coming. <laughs> oh my god. There's too many British tanks. <laughs> Hold off, you bare brilliant bastards. You have to, oh my god, Germany. Dirt yes! All of you both here! Here! This is the beachhead! This is where, like, you guys could actually win this! I have no idea why the hell Brazil, like, whoever is down here in Brazil, they're putting up their damage. They're surrounded by a bunch of pissed off Irishmen, which is not a good sign. <laughs> Scotland is also. It has a beachhead going for it. Oh, it, it may not hold. What about down here? Oh my goodness, this is so close. Look at all of these English. <laughs> you guys have to hold this port for the love of God. <laughs> all these Belgian, like German troops are over here. We got Australian troops. We got some Brazilians. Some Dutch as well. They are in hell right now. Do they got any air support? Yes, they do got air support. But how much? How much? How much can they hold out? Brazil, I'm surprised. This Brazilian unit is like some guy dual wielding machine guns and he just died doing one of them. <laughs> oh no. It, they have to hold this port. If they lose control of this port, it, it's all for nothing. You guys just have to hold out. Hold out, you brilliant bastards. I think the Dutch are coming in with reinforcements. I have no idea what the hell the Dutch just do. I think they put some battleships. Uh, there's some German troops. Look at this. 
Naval transferring. Go, drop more troops off. Where is the bloody air support? <laughs> oh yes, the enemy has air superiority, but holy crap, they are being backed. Oh man, this is a bloody mess. These guys, I have to give them props. They are facing the gates of hell right now with all these British <laughs> Oh man, they're attacking from multiple directions. Germans got air support, but will it be enough to hold out? You guys have to support the Australian front. They're doing the Lord's work. Please do not let these divisions collapse. You guys, all of you over here, you guys are, I don't know, hardened troops. You fought harder than this. You fought literally across the world. The supply, oh no. No! No, they took the port back! <laughs> no, these men are trapped there! You guys shall die. But just know, you will live on forever in our hearts. <laughs> you know what, let me see if I can do some behind the scenes shenanigans real quick. I'm gonna pause the recording, folks. We shall be right back. And alrighty, folks, we are back. Let's see. I did a little bit of behind the scenes movie magic to wrap this show up because, as I said, this will be the final moment of greatness for the German Right campaign for Victoria 2. And, you know what? Let me see. Can I, in theory, I can't even, like, as Russia, I couldn't even piece them out because of how ridiculous this, like, <laughs> the base reluctance is negative 20. Just a moment. Oh, I found an answer. The, it's what the hell? Uh, I don't know why the fuck that. She's talking, but, uh, let's see. Seems like, it's like this game is basically boils down to the wars being all or nothing, so I think let us witness this all or nothing conflict. This one, this one, I set some stuff up, so if the UK manages to beat this back, then they will deserve to live for the rest of the game. <laughs> Let's, okay, so we got some, who's that? There's some Greek divisions down here in Scotland. They look like they are kind of, I don't know what's going on. France has dropped off some troops. Australia, okay, it looks like they formed a bit of a beachhead. They took back that port. Uh, what about over here? Brazil, uh, they didn't take, oh, wait, no, they took, they, they, they took a port. Brazil just took a port just outside of London. Oh, will they be able to hold it though? Oh, German reinforcements. Oh, they just might. Germany just might hold out. Okay. So, wow, okay, two beachheads. <laughs> Kind of just formed, uh, but it's not gonna hold out, especially this one. This one's about to be destroyed. Uh, they just dropped off a German Panzer Division. Nash declared war on your men. Uh, let me pause that. Like, okay, so, like, excuse me. Nash. I, I, I remember setting this up, but like, we got like, just two infantry divisions down here. Uh, does your men even have an army? Your men does not have. Are they lend leasing? No. Your man has no army. Their total manpower is just 1,000 guys. <laughs> Nash, they at least be able, they're able to field two divisions. Uh, well. Maybe they'll hold off in your men. Alright, looks like that beachhead has fallen. But it seems that the Australians are putting up a fight. Oh, what am I seeing? Australians. This is Belgium, Dutch, German, and some Brazilian troops over here trying to hold out. Spreading their lines thin. But will it be enough? So France has a beachhead up here at a port. Greece is like spreading around troops. What about Japan? Okay, wait, Japan just dropped off in Liverpool. Holy crap, there are like multiple tip-tap invasions going on over here. 
Oh no, it looks like the invasion of Southwest England is falling. Who knows, will they be actually be able to hold this off? Like, it seems that the UK is pouring in the, probably the majority of their troops down here. But Japan, Japan is holding it. <laughs> they're, they're being brave, sons of bitches. I have to give them that. France is being comfortable up here. Uh-oh. Looks like Scots are coming in to take back that port. Let's see, this this whole area that you can oh my god, look at this traffic jam. <laughs> like Southwest England seems to be like <laughs> the most like strategically important port they have to hold. I'm surprised France hasn't like sent over troops like to like Southwest England. Yeah, Japan's been killed. Oh yeah, Germany's, it looks like Germany is, and some of the Dutch are sent some ports up here to France. Like the French own like this port in the uh, Scottish Lowlands. This is crazy. If they manage to at least take over a portion of Scotland, that could drag away some like much needed British forces. Let's actually check the Brits point of view. Like, the, <laughs> I don't understand how, like, they have any armor functioning. Like, they have no fuel. <laughs> like, they have nothing for, f like, planes or tanks or, oh, wait. France just dropped off troops in. Highland. Holy crap. Is France making a gameplay? I don't know how, like, okay, it looks like, yeah, Germany is pushing in a little bit. Oh, God. There's a lot of things going on. France took over that port. Oh, they just have to capitalize on like some of these ports. Germany is taking over the oh okay. Hang on, wait. I think what's happening, the British are being spread too thin. Germany just landed a shit ton like an invasion force. Oh my god! They landed in Northeast England. They're gonna cut off. They're gonna cut oh my god, they're gonna cut this off in half. But will it be enough? Like this invasion force in Southwest England is like they're trying to hold this back. Okay, Liverpool, I think they're trying to formalize a line around Liverpool and Newcastle upon Tyne, whatever the hell Newcastle is. Legendary. Oh no, it looks like German troops are moving in Newcastle. Are they gonna, they're, Germany must be bombing the hell out of here, yep. I think they're saying fuck Ireland, like just bomb the hell out of here. Oh yeah, the Germans, looks like they got like a bit of breathing room around this space. Germany's making an offensive into Newcastle. But it looks like it's not enough, even though they got high air support. There is just the terrain. This is like the Scottish defense. <laughs> oh, but no, Germany is actually okay. Yep, I think British forces have been sprayed out too thin. Germany has managed to take an airfield. Luckily, the air base is still manageable. But as you can see, like this place has been infrastructure has been bombed to hell. Scotland, France is holding that port. Smart, smart. You men and Nez signed a white piece. Wow, you guys, I don't even think the Nez even invade. Wait, they, I think they lost an entire infantry division to that uh, war. Oh no, they still have it. Uh, they just didn't take anything. <laughs> but let's look at this right here. All right, so they got another strategic port in Southeast England. Uh, who's that? Is that China? Yeah, that's China. China, like, dropped off troops for a brief moment in Wales. Oh, no. Looks like they're dropping off more. But, yeah, this battle over here in Southwest England kind of had to be pushed back. Like, now they're holding this choke point right here because uh, they couldn't take back the port. And it cost them because of all the units being tied up down here. It cost them, like, the Germans to capitalize on the invasion of Northeast England. As you can see, they took a huge chunk. They got, let's see, one port about, I think this airbase is in German control. Yep, they got this airbase, another airbase up here. And this port, I think this port is still technically under British control. Let's see, yeah, it's still, like, relatively under British control. France is, you know, France, they launched an invasion up here uh, a short while ago. 
managed to hold these two ports, but no one, like all the British and Scottish troops up here kind of ignored it. And now France dropped off some more troops and Germany dropped off some more troops to like, you know, defend the position. This port over here in the lowlands, this like this French invasion over here gave like the strong foothold and the Greece distraction caused Germany to capitalize on it to take over this uh, lowlands dock. It is amazing, though I don't think that's an official dot. It looks like it though, but it it is of strategic importance. Meanwhile, uh, Ireland is standing around confused. But with this, this should actually like, let's see, where is the Commonwealth? Okay, yeah, Workers Commonwealth. They're almost they're almost a fifty percent capitulation. Like Commonwealth is really the last major world power that's in this war. Like, as you can see, Republican Spain fell, uh, Soviet Union fell, let's see, oh yeah, we turned Dutch, we, we flipped them over, like, uh, caused a revolution over there. Oh no, 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 I forgot, they caused a revolution in the Netherlands, and we managed to reverse it, but, let's see, how, how would this turn out, like, Germany... Has got some forces down, but now they got the beach here. This is like this is the part they needed. France is also invading. Yes, the British troops have been spread too thin, and Scotland is being liberated. Let's see, will we see any of our Scottish ally over here? Because these guys were still part of our alliance, the Democratic Party of Scotland. I wonder if their troops will pop up like as freedom fighters. <laughs> Scottish Highlands are gonna be brutal for the men's uh, takeover. France invasion of Cardiff has been destroyed, but they maintain occupation of the city. All right? Seems like the guys in Southwest England are trying to do a breakout, but the, the Brits are dropping off more troops. Uh oh, Germany just dropped off two Panzer divisions. No, make that four Panzer divisions. Oh man. And Brazil, Brazil just dropped off some more troops just outside of London. Brazil is taking initiative on this. Oh, yes. Their forces. This German force up here is what's like killing the British right now. I think Liverpool, yeah, Brazil just dropped off some troops in Liverpool. Yeah, they can't hold this line. Yeah, Southwest England is about to be overrun. They are about to take this air base. Yes. Who is that? Oh, that's Russian troops. <laughs> Japanese troops, even American troops over here. I guess all of like our volunteer forces, they were like, hey, we're making headway. And they just said, all right, bring, bring them in. They actually had enough time to bring in like the Brazilian, American, and Russian armies. Now, up here in Scotland, it's just a bloody <laughs> mess. Like this guy, these guys up here are about to get destroyed. They moved off the port. But Germany, yep, yeah, they just took over Liverpool. And these lines are about to form up. London is like about to fall soon. Oh yes, Operation Sea Lion has finally commenced in earnest. These guys are screwed. They have to get out of this. <laughs> yet the two lines just connected. Southern England is almost under complete <laughs> German control. Brazil is moving into Cambridge. London is about to be surrounded. Oh yes, the, the Battle of London. An SS division is attacking a medium tank brigade. Let's pause it. Let's see with this. They, they're, they're, the terrain is like not in their favor. They got a river crossing. They mainly got air support on the German side. And they're doing suppressive barrage. Now you see Alfred Butler over here who's like, oh my god, seems we're about to all die. <laughs> it's like, he got German close air support bombing the hell out of his men. They're operating at 41% strength. Organization still like not 100%. It's up there like around, what, 95%. Let's see, they got terrain. Which is like, you know, even causing them bad on the defense, but their armor division 
is going to provide them that bonus of defense, but it's just not going to be enough. Let's see. We got 42 planes defending the site. But we got all these planes just bombing everything. Yes. They're trying to link up these two lines. Oh, yes. Let's slow this down just a little bit. I want to savor this. The Communist British Empire <laughs> has held out for far too long against Germany. And look at, look at all of this shit that is just poured into, like... <laughs> Like, all of this from over here, like, basically, the Western European forces, along with, like, our pals from around the world, has just poured in. As you can see, Germany, it seems that Germany and Belgium have devoted the most divisions to this. Like, Belgium, <laughs> Belgium dedicated 68 divisions, <laughs> while Germany... Well, if you could buy both of these, we still have, like, superior. But, like, just, the, like, the sheer amount of Belgium forces. <laughs> like, holy shit, Belgium. <laughs> Is Germany even giving you any fuel? No, you're not even import. Wait. Oh, no, they're getting eight out of their eight imports from Germany. Like, Germany supplying mainly their fuel needs. But, I mean, like, G Germany, like, you can give them fuel. Look at this. 3.27 million current fuel in the stockpile. We're at like the capacity, like just the gain from it and our maximum consumption. Like Germany cannot run out of fuel. <laughs> Whereas let's look at the UK. All right, there are over a million, like they're under a million, I should say, men in the army. Only 670 of which are in the field right now, while another quarter million are training. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, Ireland can't do anything because they have no naval force to transport these guys over, and they will get instantly destroyed. <laughs> this, this is the poetic end to world communism, it seems. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at all of this chaos. Oh, God. That, that moves the whole thing. The world's tension can't get any higher than this. So... Let's scroll up. Yeah, like they're almost to capitulation right now. Once they capitulate, it's virtually dead in the water. This is technically the German British War Two. World War Two that has been so hard they had to like say, you know what, we're just gonna call this World War Two Two. <laughs> Let's sort this by casualties again. Like, just from the sheer, like, amount of how long this war has been going on and the amount of manpower Germany can feel. Like, over 6 million are dead. German right casualties. 3 million. Sokoto is 3 million. Workers' Commonwealth, 1.6 million. Oh, jeez. 412. So, let's see. Workers' Commonwealth. Man, this is like... <laughs> This, this is the war to end all wars right here. London, wait, did London just fall? Oh, no, no, I, I, I'm still looking at UK point of view. But London is about to fall. We got an SS division. Low supply, led by a Brazilian general. Alfred Butler is still holding out with the defense of London. But I don't think it's going to be enough, Mr. Butler. Oh, I think they're getting reinforced. But as you can see, like, all these forces are just getting shot back. Scotland is up here. UK is trying to, like, you know, control Scotland. While at the same time, they can't push this. Like, they don't have enough men to, like, push this right here. Like, this front is secure. All these boys have to do is wait until the boys down south get to working. But let's look at this. Oh, the, the, the fall of London is about to take place. We have to, like, see this slowly. It's just not shit there. These guys are leaving London. The London Defense Forces. London has fallen. <laughs> Germany has taken London. This this is it. They're getting pushed back into Wales.
they made like the new capitals in Newcastle, and they're trying. I guess they're trying to say that the final battle is gonna take place in the Scottish Highlands, but like the movie Highlander, there can only be one. Yes, there can only be one. This fast forward. This, yeah, these southern forces—they're trapped down here. I mean, they probably could hold out at Wells, but Wells is mainly hills. Wait, something's happening. Oh wait, I guess they, they capitulated. Wait, it's a priest conference. Oh my God, we have to look at this. The Treaty of Sydney, Australia <laughs> became Australia became the treaty like location. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess because we managed to convert them and change the whole world in the process but let's look at the, the death toll german reich took 54 states argentina took two states france took 11 states netherlands took eight states scotland took one state grand colombia took seven states russia took 13 brazil took seven ireland took two australia four australia was annexed brazil was annexed egypt was annexed ireland was annexed morocco was annexed Dakota was annexed the jazz was annexed soviet union was annexed grand colombia united baltic provinces commonwealth of alba netherlands <laughs> crete was puppeted Sevilla Reich was puppeted, Bolivia was puppeted, Colombia was puppeted, El Salvador was puppeted, Peru was puppeted, British Empire was puppeted, Hyderabad was puppeted, Jodhpur was puppeted, Canada was puppeted, oh my god. And a total of 268,295 equipment has been seized. So... Okay, so that was it. They replaced the government in uh, the British Isles with the uh, British Union of Fascists. And let's see, Burma and the Republic of Britannia are the same alliance with France. Let's see. The wait, that's Burma. Okay, wait. Yeah, I got. We gotta go around the world too. So let's see. So this is the Scotland. Uh, yeah, this is the Scotland uh, overthrow we set up a few episodes back, and they're back. Ireland, same case. Ireland is now controlled by fascist, uh, the fascist Jacobins. <laughs> they flip. British forces are over here. Oh, oh my! Grand Colombia got this from Brazil. Oh, oh my God! Colombia exists, but it's like a bastardized state inside of. <laughs> and Panama exists, and Panama just controls Balboa. There's this little baby right here. That's not fair. Uh, in El Salvador, like, well, they got liberated from communist but fascist control. <laughs> Guatemala was also released. Oh my. Peru is back, but again, they're like now a puppet in France. Like, France managed to puppet these nations. Check with Australia. Like, Australia is now the. <laughs> Australia, it was. It's weird how. <laughs> Oh man, like how this whole thing started like long ago where we like overthrew like, you know, invaded Australia after starting a fascist uprising and then it became poetic that they decided to like use Sydney as like the peace treaty location for this massive like <laughs> world, sp like this global war that now instead of like Prop fascist government <laughs> India. Well, there's free India. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> New Persian Empire. <laughs> Bukhara is back, but again, they're like another puppet. Wow. I'll, I mean, just absolutely astounding. What about the so? Yeah, Soviet Union is completely dead now. And so, I suppose, 
that was one of the last poetic things of the war. That is how the war ends in canon. In canon. But, you know, since I have a little bit of time and I'm feeling a little bit sad, I'm going to see if I can get one last war out. Now, let's say... Let, let's just say this, for example. Germany did not like that piece of <laughs> Oh, no. They can't declare war. Actually. Oh. Uh, and I don't feel like doing that fucking console command as well. Actually, I, I really want to see what happens if we unpause it. Yeah, the world is essentially at peace. Germany is back to planning against France. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, France is, is planning against Germany. I think... I know... Let's do this. Can I get one little war go? What about retake a core? Oh, they need four more political power. No. Oswell. You know what? I think that's a pretty much a good send off for this. All will and end well. Basically, communism is dead throughout the world. Fascism has basically reigned supreme. The German Empire is the largest empire in fucking human history. <laughs> <laughs> and right now they're like you know still suspicious of France France is suspicious of them even though they both carved up the remaining British uh, nations like look at this place these planes were wrecked like most of these places like were like just outright bombed to hell Yeah, look at this, like, <laughs> they, like, they bombed the military factories up here in Scotland. And, yep, all these German forces are just going home. Peacefully, it may seem. Just need six more political power points. Let's see. United States just needs three. You know what? Let's make it a reconquista. If the war... Oops, I, I didn't switch it out. If the war fires off within the next few minutes, I'll see. But, I just wanted to just do it just to watch the world burns. But, in canon, I want to stress this. In canon, that was the true end of the war at the Treaty of Sydney. The world is basically destroyed. Like, you would not believe. <laughs> like, there is, like... <laughs> the war has been going on... Uh, roughly the same amount of time as, like... The war... In, uh... Real life, but... Just the sheer amount of manpower... The sheer amount of carnage... And just, like... The destruction rot, especially of... <laughs> The British Isles. It was just horrible, but the Workers' Commonwealth was overthrown, and Benjamin Allenby is now. I don't know why France got to like. I don't know why Germany like passed up you know puppeting the UK, but hey, Germany took over a lot more land <laughs> than what I thought they were going to take uh, by the end of that conflict. Let's see, what's their trade like? Yes, yeah, Germany is just exporting like tons of stuff. Has to be without a doubt the biggest exporter throughout the whole world. So the war ended. Peace for our time. Or is it? There are justifications of the free American Empire is justifying a war against us. Oh really? Are they now? Now, the whole thing is, let's see, how long would it take for them to fabricate? Till July, I could play it till July. This is seeing as how this is going to be the wrap-up episode. And wait, is Germany actually, they're actually about to do a war with... <laughs> you know what, let's just hit it up to speed five. I gotta see this nonsense, the like nonsense that's about to commit right now. So, 
I guess you could say after the dust settles, the last, like, three fascist superpowers are now plotting to kill each other for dominance. The United States wants to reconquista uh, north, its northeastern sector. But, will it be possible? No, 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 Germany. I want you research that. Should have been discovered it at this point. But let's see. Will, will a war with France erupt? Like a war between like the Germany Germany and the Free American Empire as well as a war with uh, German aggression against France. Seeing as how the German troops are already outside the Maginot like well way past the Maginot line over here. And they're just outside of Paris, and you got some Paris, like Parisian troops doing jumping jacks, push ups, training. They're like, oh yeah, we'll just beat the war with the British Empire with German support. I wonder if they will invade us soon. <laughs> what would you like to do? And seeing as how Germany has like over 19 million men in reserves, France only has 3 million, I think United States, yeah, they got 9 million men in reserves. This would be truly catastrophic if this does go down. Which, <laughs> oh my god. We just have to see. Let's see, where where would that be? It has to be somewhere over here. That's Union. Yeah, War with France. They, I'm mad they got eight days left to do this. So within a week, they're going to declare war on France. Why? Because Germany just hates France, historically. And all their troops are up here in the UK. Uh, oh my god. What is going to happen if this does go off? Are they going to be exiled? They, like, Germany is moving all of its forces. <laughs> and Germany just declared war on France. My god. Here we go. And then, oh god, what is going to happen here? So, wait, did the UK... The Brazilian-French War. What? What the fuck? Why? Wait, is Germany even in this? Yeah, they're in this, but why the hell is it the Brazilian-French War? And then, like, these guys are exiled here. Uh. Uh. Are you got, like, wait. Oh, wow. Okay. So, this is... <laughs> China has joined Germany as their ally. Yep. All these nations have joined the war. So, World War Two has finished, folks. Now, World War Three is already... <laughs> thanks to incompetence and randomness has kicked off. Wait, have these guys... Like, have the British even joined in? But... Okay, so the British aren't in this war. Interesting. They could join the war. They would accept it. Like, France would call them in. They could and would join the war. But let's see how this will go. Germany is like... France, you really shouldn't have. Germany has been waiting for this war for all, like, the entire game. <laughs> That was a surprising factor. Like, I don't think uh, during this entire campaign, France and Germany declared war. Oh, yeah. I also want to see. Where, what about Burma? Burma, Burma. Burma, Burma. It's not Burma. I feel stupid. I might be looking. Oh, here's Burma. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They're, they're down here. Uh, I have no idea why. Like, they're going to die. This, like, India and Asia is basically the German Empire's literal vacuum. <laughs> and then there are African. The war is also going to take place in Africa. Oh, yes. Death. Death all around. Oh, wait. France. Oh, no. They just joined. Britain just, jo Britain just killed itself. It joined the war uh, on France's side. Oh well. 
Let's see. I'm going to leave it up to the United States to declare war if they want to. It is really, I believe it really up to the United States for that. Yeah, this is this is just a cascading world war now again, all because of well, this is really due to Germany's aggression. <laughs> Wait, New Zealand still exists? Well, I'll be a biscuit. The Kiwi Empire, my God. <laughs> This is one of the puppet states, even though France had nothing to do with anything down here, they managed to take this for themselves as a puppet. France should not have gained anything during that whole war. That was a crime in and of itself. Well, it seems that now that the British, like, decided, hey, we have, like, over a million fucking tr German troops in our nation right now after the armistice, maybe we should stay at peace? They're like, nah. Let's just declare, like, join the war on France's side, even though our armies were just destroyed, our nation is occupied by God knows how much amount of troops, and we are surrounded on all, like, sides from, <laughs> I guess, Germany and her allies. Yes, they, they really thought about that, and it's, like, negative Sweden over here with Frederick Virgin. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful poetic end to this saga. Oh, yes. Journey is called the Kingdom of Fiji. And you know what? No, just because of how extravagant this is, I'll make one more showing of this. So, will you guys tune in next time? You should see, hands down, the final cut of Reichsland Reloaded. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more, and when we return, this series shall be put to a close. Oh god. <laughs> Have a nice day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.